Hey everyone, welcome on Devish Tech channel. And now let's begin the journey of the chat server development. To do that, we have to create a Node.js project. And for the Node.js project, you will gonna need the Node.js installed on your local system. Also, you will gonna need the MongoDB. So both the video of the installation of the MongoDB and the Node.js, you can find the on the description. So let's begin the journey. And I'm going to create a new Node.js project and how we will create the Node.js project. To create a new Node.js project, we have to use the npm init. And after you hit the npm init, it will gonna ask the couple of questions. You just have to enter and at the last, it will gonna ask the yes or no. Just say the yes or no. After that, a package.json file will be created. In the package.json file, you don't have anything. So after creating the package.json file, we have to install the couple of the packages. What are the packages we need for our project? So let me enter the npm install to install the all the packages. And what are the packages we have to use? We have to use the socket.io, which is a very essential because with the help of the socket.io, we are going to implement the web sockets. And also we have to use the express JS to create the HTTP server. And after the Express.js, we have to use the Node.mon for the development environment. And after the Node.mon, we have to use the Mongoose, which we will gonna need when we will interact with the MongoDB. And at the last, we have to use the CORS. So if you don't know about the CORS, please comment it down that you don't know. I will cover the CORS topic in the next coming video according to your comment. So let me hit the enter and it will gonna install all of the packages. A new section will be created on the package.json file. The name will be dependency. So let's install this thing, then we will resume the video. As you can see that after the installation, you will find all of the packages you installed inside the dependency section. After installing the all the packages, we have to create a new file which will be index.js where we will gonna write the server side program so after writing the index.js we have to import all of the packages which we installed so this video is only for the setup thing we will not gonna test the program in this video for testing the program we need the client side code and for the client side code in the next video you will gonna get the client side code with the github url okay for the testing so let me import all of the packages first then i will let you know about the next video the first thing we have to import is the express and to import anything we use the required keyword and after importing the express we have to import the http package to create a server so node.js comes with the default http package we don't need any additional third party package for it and after importing the http package we have to import the cors okay in the cors we have to use the required and provide the cors package name after importing the cors package we have to create a instance of the express.js on an app variable and how we will create it using the same variable express which we created over here and after it what we have to do that we have to create a new variable called port and let me assign a port number over here with help of the process dot env dot port so what will happen that with help of the process dot env dot port the port will be detected of your local environment if there will be not any port provided by the local environment then we have to use the default port 5000 and after that what we have to do that we have to create a new server with help of the HTTP create server 
let me just use the right spelling okay now we created the http server and also we have to provide this app instance of the express.js over here so with help of the http create server we will create a http server and after that what we have to do that we also have to import the socket io and how we will import it i'm going to create a variable called io and i'm going to import it using the required and i have to provide the socket io name after importing it let me initialize something over here in a socket io we have to pass the server property the server which we created because to run a socket io also we will gonna need the http server that's why i am providing this server over here and after that we will gonna provide an object and inside the object i'm going to provide the cors it is very essential to allow the cors okay and set the origin of the cors star okay now we initialize the socket io thing on io variable now what we have to do next after that we have to initialize some of the middleware so it is just a setup video okay and to use a middleware we have to use the express.js and we have to use the app.huge with help of the app.huge we will initialize the middleware and inside the middleware what i have to do we have to use the express.json for decoding the json data also we have to allow the CORS with help of the package we imported on the CORS variable now after this thing what we have to do we have to work on the socket io part so i am going to open a connection on a socket io with help of the connection event what is an event on a socket io so you will get to know about the all the event available on a socket io in the next coming videos because in the next video we need the client side code for the testing of the socket io code so our client side code will be a react based code and you will gonna get uh, all the react code on a github repository i'm going to provide the github repo link on the next video and also i will gonna explain you that how you can download that thing and how you can run the client side code on your local environment for the testing because the react code which we will gonna use is only for the testing because we can't test the socket io thing with the postman for that we need a client side code that's why i'm going to provide you a react code for you for the testing but at the end of the series we are going to integrate this chat server thing to our flutter app the other series where we are developing a flutter chat app look like the whatsapp one so after developing this chat server we have to integrate this chat server to the corresponding flutter chat app okay so let me just write the socket io code and after opening the connection event we will get a callback method okay and here we have to provide a parameter call socket and let me just console log because we are not going to test anything in this video we are just going to set up this thing so let me print the connected And after it, what we had to do that we had to listen the server on the corresponding port. We created the server on the server variable. And to initiate the server thing, we had to listen the server on the port number which we defined. So let me just use the server dot listen. And after it, we had to provide the port which we created over here and also we have a additional callback function when the server is started then i'm going to console log that server 
connected. Note server is started. So it is a generally a project initiation video to initialize all of the thing. And now the real thing will start after I will give you the client side code and after I will explain what are the event we have inside the socket IO and how we can run the server with help of the node index and okay we are getting an issue that HTTP is not defined okay I did a mistake it's a HTTP let me hit the save and let me just start it now you saw that the server is started callback is logged in our terminal okay so let me just do a last thing that here in the script part we have to add two script the first script is the start we don't we will not use this start script the node index and the second script is the dev script and we will run the script with help of the node mon index okay now hit the save and just stop it so with the help of the node mon we run our server on the development mode that's why i added two script that is the start and second one is the dev so let me use the npm run dev to start the server now we are running the our server in a development mode with help of the node mon now we don't need to restart our server again and again when the file will be changes now we have to work on the client side code and also we have to know about the socket io thing so let's meet on the next video but before moving on the next video please don't forget to subscribe this channel also please like the video and share the video to your friend thank you all and happy coding